wait till one to, wait till one to really kind of get going on this kind of stuff. But, um, you know, this is meant to be kind of answering your questions. So I think there's a chat box there. And if we have a small enough group, we'll probably do some questions towards the end as well uh, for you guys to know what's inside the academy. You know, and we're uh, very excited about it. I know I'm something I've always had a goal of doing. And um, Emory has come along and made it so much better. So really kind of excited to show off what we've got. Uh, but this is not meant to be, you know, some uh, formal meeting. This is meant for you guys to ask questions. We are recording this because we're hoping – uh, to send it out to guys that may have interest that want to know, hey, what's really inside of the academy? Um, and so I'm gonna, I'm just going to roll, Emory. Are you good for me to kind of go? Yes, sir. All right, man. So what we'll do here, guys, we'll roll, and then you can ask questions in, in the chat or whatever it is. And I'm going to turn it over to Emory about halfway through because he's really – I've kind of tasked him with doing a lot to make this better. So uh, just real quickly, the goal of the academy we put together – was for a guy to run their own offense. It was not to, to push my offense or someone else's offense or or this or that or whatever. It was basically a way for a coach to come in, whether they've been coaching one year or 40 years, and prepare themselves for what they're going to run this season. And so we've got multiple sections inside of the academy uh, that are meant to steer towards that. We try to be real careful not to just focus on one offense or another. Uh, in a second, I'll or, well, a couple minutes, I'll let Emory talk about. We are going to start offering like introductory lessons to multiple offenses, but the main goal of the academy was you come in, you get a, a kind of a workbook, which we're calling a workbook, but essentially a guidebook for you to build your own offense, and then we walk through the workbook, and then we bring in a guy who's had a lot of success in that area of offense, and he gives you some ideas about what he does. But the, the goal is for you to do kind of uh, to do what is good for you. OK, uh, so, Amory, I think you've kind of got if I hit the general basis of OC, have I left anything off? No, sir. That's pretty much it. It's, you know, supposed to be something where, yeah, wherever you're at, you know, you can see exactly kind of a behind the scenes look, I guess, of kind of what, you know, people who have proven systems themselves, kind of what they're doing, kind of get that behind the scenes look at success, I guess. Okay. And so kind of what's included, we've got a couple of things you can see on the left is the Academy, uh, the workbooks included. It comes in a digital format because obviously you can manipulate that and play with that. Um, and then uh, it's professional development as well. I know a lot of coaches here, um, to me, we go to professional development is worthless when we're teachers. And this is meant to be something you can take to your admin and say, look, this is, you know, 30 hours, really, if they'll give you credit for it that I've gone through that's unique and specific to what I'm doing to help me be better at my job. So we do offer that portion as well. And we also take school purchase orders. You know, I, I think that's something we wanted to do was this is meant to help coaches. So we wanted to make sure we took some of that burden off of you guys. Uh, there are a lot of lessons. So I've told Emory to just cherry pick a few of these. We'll kind of open it up and show you, but we basically start at the top with personnel and then we roll through everything you're going to need to build an offense. So, Emory, why don't you go ahead and just kind of pick one of the or a couple of these we can go through and, and look at them. Um, and you'll see, I think it's filled with about 30 hours worth of content. So we're just going to cherry pick a few. We tried to set it up where you would start, you know, at the top of personnel, then go to formations and go to motions and go to all this. It's you pick it. We're just kind of giving ideas about it. So you can kind of see as he scrolls through here how much content is in it, um, you know, plays, building your own playbook, practice organization, organizing your own drills. Of course, we give uh, some tips and we bring in some guys that are really good at it. You know, Chris Haddad is one of my favorite guys with drills. He kind of goes through how he does things. Inside the workbook is a drill template. So you kind of work through that process on your own of how you want to build your drills. You know, we can give you some examples, but the drills, my drills may not fit your offense. So you need to figure out what drills work for you and why. We're just there to provide kind of the, the kind of, I guess, uh, guidelines or ideas to work through it. You've got a call sheet on there as well. A couple of different examples of different ways you can build your call sheet. Um, I think I, like I go through how I build mine. I'm very situation oriented. So section on how I do mine. And then I brought in Rick Stewart is much more, 
of like he actually looks at gaps, like how he's trying to attack the defense as far as areas on the field. You know, so there's multiple ways to do it. We just try to give some examples. And then we give a blank template in there where you kind of build, you know, your own one. You roll through there and you build your own one. And it goes through game management. You know, how are we going to get ready? You know, what's a Friday night look like? Or if you coach on Saturday, whatever that is, what does that look like? And then I brought in my friend, uh, Tommy Gillerin. Um, he's won a state championship and he does things a little different than I do. And he walks through how he delegates, you know, who looks at what, who breaks down uh, the opponent in the middle of the game, who handles substitutions. How does that look, you know, if you're a head coach or if you're just an OC? So then we go to opponent breakdown. I think we're going to spend a little bit of time on this one. Is that right, Emory? You wanted to kind of look at yes, sir. breakdown? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in the opponent breakdown, uh, every single lesson has kind of a walking through the workbook where – you'll have the workbook. So it kind of just shows you, you know, maybe how we intended to use it, but obviously it's very adaptable to what you're using. And if you have the digital one, you can edit it all you'd like. Uh, but the opponent break one, spend a lot of time here. Cause I think, you know, at least for myself, this is one of those, you know, places in football where you can get lost, right. Cause you can do it forever. So I found this super helpful kind of gives you, we go through kind of, or Kenny rather goes through kind of his entire process from before the game to after the game right? What he's looking for, then kind of building the call sheet, um, then kind of, you know, what he's doing on Saturday. Uh, Then there's one video that actually goes through an opponent. Um, I don't remember the opponent, or I think this was last year. Yeah, I think it was one of the Cersei. Yeah, so we was Memphis. Yeah, it was, yeah, we wanted it to be real. I think that was the goal. And I don't want to cut you off, I'll let you keep talking here, but we wanted it to be an actual, like not a, this is how I would do it. This literally was what I did. Yep, and I think the most valuable part is kind of the afterwards, the uh, the post game analysis afterwards. So you see kind of the plan, the real plan, and then afterwards what actually happened. Uh, and then there's uh, lastly in this section, Sean Laota, um, just kind of his perspective on how he does it, because always trying to get multiple perspectives on um, what everybody's doing. So in every single uh, section, got another coach brought in to show what they're doing as well. Right. So then you kind of, and there's several sections. You got simplicity. You know, I brought in Randy Jackson, who runs all the Baylor system stuff, and how are they doing their stuff? Real simple, or my stuff's a little more verby, you know. So we offer flavor. Our goal was to give a coach flavors because every coach wants to build their own offense. It's it's always good to model off of guys that have come before with success, but you're wanting to be an innovator. That's what coaches want to be but let's do it smart. And that was kind of the goal of this whole academy was, hey, build your own, but let's be wise about it. So when we do situational football, we talk about situations. We did a whole if-then section. That's one of the ways I love to think of offense is basically solving problems before they happen, thinking through all the potential problems and then solving them. Of course, I use Buck Sweep because that's my play, but you could do the same thing if you ran inside zone or outside zone or mesh or whatever you run you need to be great at that you know and that was kind of the whole goal of that was let's talk about all these if then theories and then we brought in who I thought were the big dogs and we brought in Kevin Kelly the guy who's been featured in ESPN for scoring unbelievable points Uh, we brought in Noel Mazzoni Uh, if you've watched NFL or you know collegiate level been around forever I think kind of the godfather of the RPOs you know, we brought in Al Borges, you know, has been the OC at multiple uh, high level schools. So we, we do give those flavors of those guys that, hey, these are kind of the front, you know, forefathers, I guess, of a lot of these flavors of offense. And then now Emory is kind of working on what we're adding. So this is where, you know, all this was in here before, you know, and now we're looking at now, where can we take the OC Academy to the next level? So, Amy, I'll let you kind of take away on that part. Sure. So, yeah, after last year, you know, we kind of got some feedback and a lot of people wanted to say, hey, you know, what are some more examples of what offenses could be, right? What are the kind of different systems that are out there and are popular? So we've got three in there now, right now, just offensive overviews, going to go about an hour each. Um, so we've got Pistol Power, Joe Daniels, the Gun T, and then the Slot T with Sean Lyota. And each of these, and we're going to add more, we're going to add, you know, air raid, maybe the end zone, um, Noel Mazzoni's offense, we're going to add triple option, and then really whatever coaches are asking for, 
right? And each of these overviews is kind of gonna, you know, about five parts to it. One, just kind of what's the philosophy? Why did the coach get to that offense? What is, um, you know, what drove him to actually run it to see maybe, you know, to kind of give you an idea of, hey, is this a fit for me? Also just going over then into the, you know, personnel, what personnel is maybe best for this offense or what personnel do you just have to have to run it? Then getting into kind of the weeds there where it's like what formations are part of it, base runs, base um, passes, and then kind of the keys to success in the, in the offense. So we're hoping to add, you know, plenty of these much more throughout the entire offseason going over all of that to just give coaches a uh, a good look at what's out there and kind of to see, once again, kind of a behind the scenes of, hey, what actually does it take to succeed in in uh, in each of these offenses? Right. And I know Emory's also, I've kind of tasked him with doing some uh, blog type things as well. So he's going to be doing some articles kind of in there over a lot of probably what we're looking at here. Uh, so let's kind of move over to yeah, what's the guy get. So, I, you know, I decide, hey, I want to be in the academy. Here's what we've kind of come up with. We think is a, is a good deal for a coach. Again, uh, to us, the goal was value. You know, we want to bring something that's going to be continually usable for you. You don't just do it once and you're done with it, but it's something we can continue to evolve, uh, but also something that's going to help you, you know, build whatever you want it to be. So the workbook, I think, is really big. You know, that, that comes with the academy, the digital workbook, where it, it walks you through in PowerPoint or Google Slides, whatever you're, you know, whatever you use. It's very easy to use and manipulate. Uh, something you can kind of walk through and helps you go through the academy together uh, with this if you want, or you can cherry pick different areas of it and kind of manipulate it. Okay. We are in the process right now of doing uh, workbooks similar to the OC workbook for multiple positions. So something where you could give your O-line coach an O-line kind of workbook. And here's to give you kind of a glimpse of what's inside the uh, the offensive coordinator workbook. We're doing one now for offensive line coaches. We're working on one for receiver coaches, quarterback coaches, running back coaches. If you're in the academy, all the digital stuff we add, you get. So as that adds, which it will add this year, you'll have that to be able to give to your position coaches. Or if you are a position coach, something you can use. Again, a lot of this stuff is meant to be manipulated for you. We give kind of an example up front of how we would do things and then turn you loose where now you get to do it. So that's the goal of the, and of course the academy walks you through different ideas of different ways you might want to do it or not do it. Uh, but where you got multiple products kind of coming in that same boat uh, that if you're in the academy, you'll get. Uh, anything we do physical, you know, I've got to mail that, my wife's got to ship it and all that. I think we're doing that at like a pretty steep discount for guys that are that are already in the academies. We understand that, uh, you know, you've already invested in what we want, and so we want to reward those guys. Uh, Jamie, I know you've got a couple different options for guys uh, if they want to get in. Mm -hmm. You can get in like a basically a yearly, try it out for a year. If you don't like it, no worries on our end. Um, as we add content again, it will grow with you. So um, I think he's got a yearly where it's 129. Uh, you get it for the whole year, and as we add, you get it. So there's no... We had something three months from now. You don't have to pay more for it. It's just, it goes in the academy, you get it. If we have that offensive line workbook. It goes in the academy, you know, you get it, okay? Um, and you're locked in at that price. You know, what's going to happen is we hope to grow this from 30 hours to maybe 60 hours. Well, when that happens, it takes time. It takes an investment. Of course, we want to, you know, make sure that it's worth the time to do that. So that annual plan is going to move up. Um, I think on the 20th, you've got down there at the bottom is actually moving up. And then my guess is it will continue to move up, you know, as we add 10 hours worth of content or we add a new book or whatever it is, that's going to go up, but you're locked in. So let's say you get in, you're at 129 and three years from now, it's, you know, 359. Well, you're locked in at the price you were. Okay. If that's something you want to look at. The other option is lifetime. So lifetime means you're in and you get it all. And I think you can kind of explain the difference in those areas. I know you kind of built that. Sure. So yeah, the lifetime option is just kind of pay once you're in forever and you also get um, a free weekly planner, which is a new product, which is kind of melt uh, for the season. It goes through, it has um, 10 different sections for each game, for each week. It goes through all the game planning, opponent breakdown process and all that. That'll be shipped to your house. Also a free workbook shipped to your house free. 
and then 40% all future pro uh, products, but you'll also be getting all those digitally free as well. And then obviously, you know, you pay once and then you get everything forever. All the new, just like Kenny said, we're at about 30 hours now going up however many more hours it is. No more, um, this, you get access to all of it. So yeah, we're the annual plan right now. Um, 20% all future purchases. So off of any of those, whether it's a book, course, whatever it might be. Um, and then you also do still get the digital access to the workbook. But if you're a physical guy and you want a physical workbook, you can, of course, purchase that 20% off if you're in the manual. I mean, if you're in the annual plan as well. Good. I, I think hopefully we kind of explained it pretty well, guys. You know, again, our goal and we're trying to build a community, too. I don't know if you guys are Facebook guys or not, but if you are, you know, we have a Facebook group. Emery's running our Twitter account where we're trying to put out content out there as well. Probably looking at having a YouTube account as well coming up and multiple things. And we want to put out content that if a guy just wants a little bit of it, get it. But if you want the deep stuff that, you know, to me, you know, the stuff is actually going to help you get very deep, then I would rec highly recommend you at least look at it. You know, and we don't we don't push a coach to do whatever they don't want to do. Uh, we do accept school purchase orders, like I mentioned. So if you're in a school, I, in my opinion, I'm at a school, I work at a school, I feel like they should support their coaches. If they don't, and you're in that boat, and money is an issue, email me, and we'll figure something out. You know, we want guys to be in this, we're doing this to help coaches. You know, so if that's a problem, then please reach out to eat both of us. That's why we do what we do. We could make a lot more money selling insurance, but we would prefer to help coaches. That's kind of where we are uh, doing what we're doing. But I think, Emery, about Dev, did you have any notes we need to hit or we want to open up for questions? Uh, no, I think, yeah, you pretty much hit it all. We're also, yeah, like you said, wanting to really also expand um, kind of the the YouTube, Twitter, blog stuff. Hopefully get a bunch of articles on here doing deep dives into whatnot. Um, if you're, if you're interested in a certain topic that you want to learn about, please just message me and I'll, you know, go out and try to find more information on that and provide that for you. Okay. I think we got a small enough group here. That'd be good. Uh, do you want to, let's shut the recording off here. Uh, sure. and that way y'all can ask kind of whatever you want to ask. Um, and we can open up whatever y'all want us to open up as well, but.